Would you get China and Russia involved in that? Well, um, like I said, it has to be um, a democratic um, <laughs> solution and democratic work. And I don't think these kinds of countries um, are very democratic right now. Um, so, um, but, but you say it's a, a global problem and China's the biggest emitter. Yeah. So how would you tackle climate change without including China? Well, of course, there has to be talks, but I'm sorry, I really have to... Um we're protesting the WEF today um, just because we think it's an undemocratic meeting of the world's elites and these are the people that, that cause the problems of our time. But I can't hear any difference in what the right is saying to what you're arguing. What's the, what's the difference then? Um, for example, these kind of people are, are defending um, elitist meetings like this one here. And of course then you, you have um, far, far right groups that are, that are also saying the WEF is problematic but they are saying it for completely different reasons. What's the reason they're saying it for? Well, you have to talk with them. So we have, and they said the exact same reasons you say. I don't really like, like it um, if, if people are putting us together, because we are not agreeing. We are not saying um, this is a problem that is causing, uh, uh, because of some kind of um, uh, conspiracy. We are not saying the solution is um, no more global um, answers to global issues. That's not what we are saying. Um, we are saying we have to tackle these issues globally, but um, we have to do it democratically. Okay, so, so would you support the UN, like the, another body like the UN, or the UN's not good either? I think the UN is, is at, it, it has some, uh, at least some, some uh, good parts about it, and I think we have to work uh, to continue working together um, on these kind of levels. So you want a globalist solution to the WEF that is not the elitist, richest people in the world. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but you still want a globalist solution to it, which is unlike the right. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't really, like, tackle climate change, for example, or worldwide inequality without talking to each other, without worldwide co cooperation. I think that's pretty clear. Would you get China and Russia involved in that? Well, um, like I said, it has to be um, a democratic um, <laughs> solution and democratic work, and I don't think these kinds of countries um, are very democratic right now. Um, so, um, but, but you say it's a, a global problem and China's the biggest emitter. Yeah. So how would you tackle climate change without including China? Well, of course there has to be talks, but I'm sorry, I really have to um, okay, okay. continue. Th th thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> There you have it. Um, it seems that Antifa here in Switzerland protesting the WEF are using the far right talking points. And when they really, when you try to get them to articulate the point of difference, well, I guess it's that they still want a globalist response, but one that excludes the most important participants. I've Yemeni for Rebel News in Davos, Switzerland.